Kantiki Cultural Women Empowerment, a not-for-profit organization teaching participant artistic sewing, tie-dye, and batik skills. Kantiki is currently engaged in the next couple of months a variety of creative arts workshops to be delivered for women and their families with other card communities across three locations in Victoria. This project activity is supported and funded by the Victoria government through the priority response to multicultural communities through coronavirus program. This is tie-dye processing presented by Frances Sisse of Kontiki Cultural Women Empowerment. A true, true story from me. Firstly, having pre-soaked your fabric or clothing, you would want to dye and a solution mixed with urea and soda ash, which helps the ink not to run out from the fabric or clothing. This is tie-dye processing presented by Frances Sisse of Kontiki Cultural Women Empowerment. The first stage is to pre-soak fabric or clothing you would want to dye in a solution mixed with urea and soda ash. I start this um, by mixing the chemical um, urea and soda ash, um, half cup of urea and then half cup of soda ash with a hot boiling water and then in a half bucket water and then mix until it, it's dissolved and then so wet the fabric for seven minutes and then after that you squeeze it and then start giving the color. This is the first one I'm doing and then I do I, I give the design and then tie them together and then this is what I'm doing now, giving the color. The soda ash and the urea help the ink not to run out. Um, I use um, This color I'm using now, I'm using the Procyon yellow and then Procyon blue. So I'm using the blue now. I've been doing this since Africa. The way we do it in Africa is different from the way we do it in Australia. In Africa, we mix everything in one and then put the fabric inside and then we... But here we have to do it like this.
and the chemical also is different. Give the same color again. Give enough so that it will be, be more ink on it. I open this one now and let's see how it goes. You have to leave it for some time to get dry before you wash it. You don't wash it now. Yeah. <laughs> 